Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Darrow. Hi. And this is In Search of Gear, the uh, return to Mobile. Yeah. Mobile the return, or a name we haven't decided yet. So, <laughs> we did shoot an intro. This is it. We're going to just check out, hopefully, some places we haven't been to before. Uh, maybe I can talk Daryl into going to Guitar Center because I need some drum heads. <clears throat> Possibly. But the, uh, the big thing today is uh, we're going to Mobile. I'm getting an amp that is a bucket list amp of mine. Uh, I was going to hide it, but since it'll probably be in the thumbnail, it's a Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. What? <laughs> and a buddy of mine is giving me a pretty good hookup in it over at Mobile. So that's going to be cool. But uh, Daryl's probably on the same page with me. I feel like we need snacks. Yes. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. All right, let's go get us some road trip rations. Road trip rations. We're uh, heading to Mobile here, probably about halfway, and uh, seems like we're maybe in a wreck. A lot of people slowing way down. All right, so apparently the right lane is closed in one mile, and if you look closely, we're in the right lane. I named this truck Sheila because it's got a fat ass. All right, guys, in the distance, you can see uh, the Mobile skyline over there. We're crossing the bridge into Mobile. Yep. Uh, Daryl's going to tell you a fun story about this bridge, Daryl. Um, it's horrible to drive across. It's very fun, though. I don't, I don't know. Good story. Uh, yeah, there's that story. And then I'll tell you another. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know another one. I don't know much about this bridge other than it sucks. It zoomed in well past you. Oh, there you are. Okay, we're not going through the regular tunnel this time. We're going through the Bankhead Tunnel. All right, so if you're familiar with Mobile, you've probably come through the Bankhead Tunnel. It's painted up like Monopoly money. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to adjust camera here so you guys can see. You see where someone had to smack the edge of it? They go out there. There was like a bunch of paint missing. There's a bunch of scuff marks on the outside top. Sorry about the shaky footage. Tis, tis business when you go through this tunnel. Yeah, that's the tunnel for you. Shaky cam. Hasn't been repaved in some time. <laughs> and it exits right into the courthouse. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. It's like, I'm out. Oh, wait. I'm going to court. See, Mobile is kind of like always referred to as Pensacola's sister city, but it's more like an evil stepsister. Yep. See, there's the there's the court courthouse and stuff in the government building. They have a chicken salad check in there. Sweet. <laughs> I don't in, know if that's in good the or bad. Yeah. I guess so. They have a chicken salad check in the courthouse. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> We should talk about that for the rest of the video. Like, why do they have a ch chicken salad chicken in the courthouse? I sentence you to a number one or whatever. It's a cool architecture in downtown Mobile. There's a library. There's a Popeyes. Yeah. Classic old, uh, from the 1740s Popeyes building. Big bold claim, First Baptist Church in Mobile. It's a big bold claim right there. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm getting it right, and then I'm gonna go into this parking lot over here, and then we'll look up some and find out where we want to go. All right, so Daryl has looked at the first pawn shop. It's Quick Pawn. I've never been to any. Well, I think we've only been to like maybe three of these. So I think we want to do a Cash Turn America left. pawn. Maybe two Cash Americas. They weren't that good. Yeah. Turn right onto Government Street. I have to listen to the GPS woman. She doesn't tell me exactly where to go, but yeah. In um, three quarters of a mile, turn right onto South and Street. Yeah. So we're going to go there. We're going to go see what they got. They look pretty promising. It looks like, uh, what is it, that pawn shop you like? What's it called? Uh, um, Capital. Capital is what it looks like on the outside. So things look promising there. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Of course, my picture's all blown out. The destination is on your right. 
quick pawn shop. Like, that pawn shop is whack as f so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't even know. If they have a ton of vacuum cleaners that are old as piss. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust. But they didn't have a lot. I'm trying to get the dub in the shop. Take a slight left turn onto Center Street, then turn left into the parking lot. Okay, so we're almost at Cash America Pond already. Yeah. Right next to this where we're just at. Actually, it's right there. Let's see if I can uh, get that on camera. That'll be too blown out. Turn left into the parking lot. Yeah, a really terrible strip mall, Cash America. Yeah. We will let you guys know how this goes. Yeah, we're probably pretty sure how this is going to go. It's going to have tons of cool stuff. Surprising amount of. <laughs> Alvarez is in Mobile so far. Pile guitar. They got an acoustic condo, yeah. Yeah. The uh, strings is way up off that neck. <laughs> they got the Ibanez Geo that has the drop tuner on it. The extended uh, range tuner. Two for two on absolutely garbage pawn shops. Come on, Mobile, step your game up. Yeah. Daryl's looking for the next one. Let's see what they got. Uh, this one is uh, nine minute drive. So much cool architecture around here. Man, we finally find a legit looking pawn shop and it's closed. That sucks. All right. I feel like Daryl and I came here once before, but it was called yeah. something else. No, I think it was the same one, but it was, uh, yeah, it was, we've been here before. That's why I remember it. They got a Microtubes B7K Ultra and a dash camera. That old school delay is pretty cool. I don't know. I've never heard of that brand. But. Tiny ball, expression overdrive. I kind of want that dash cam. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, that pot shop was actually really good. Um, couldn't film a whole lot in there because they were kind of on us, but I uh, picked up this $40 Audiologic MT66. I got it because it's pretty cheap, and because I plan on doing some lo-fi to tape deck recording, and this actually has RCA out, so I could use this as a master compressor between my mixer and my tape deck. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really nice. I I think you got a great price on it. I think that's really good. Good pickup, good find. And uh, you can adjust the threshold, the attack, the ratio, release, everything. So that's that's cool. A lot of compressors I see nowadays are just like, there's a compress knob, and that's all you get. But I like to have uh, options. So, very cool. Yeah, well, appreciate the phone. Um, yeah, now the, the Capital Pond actually um, yeah, we're they had Capital reasonable. Pond. Yeah, they had really reasonable prices. Um, they were really reasonable people, and they're really fun. They actually were really nice. You can actually see another quick pond. Well, we can, you can't, because this lens is blowing up. But uh, there's another pond shop over there. We might hit eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it now because uh, I gotta figure out what the other one is. Okay. So we're doing this. So we're gonna hit quick pond and then get some lunch, I think. Yeah. Hey, monitors. Yeah. Check out that freaking Jin's Bins cab. Yeah. It's 412s for base. There's a big port on the bottom, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, Daisy Rock. 249, that's a good looking one. The retro fire, like, there was a red one I almost bought. Mm -hmm. They're interesting, kind of ugly. You see the BC Rich Brown series, the Warlock? Yeah, that's what I was saying. A buddy of mine just asked me for a Warlock, but it was, uh, I didn't have a. He wants them around the hundred dollar range. This one has a built-in recorder. What is Look. that? A Behringer? No, it's a Burstwood. Burstwood. That's cool. 
the SD slot so you can... Huh. That's pretty cool. See the Ibanez base? Yeah. Not a bad price. Yeah. Alright, so this quick pond was way better than the other one and Daryl and I found this really cool BC Rich Warlock. The only reason I bought this, uh, I got it for 110 with tax, so it was uh, 110 bucks. Got it for 100 with tax, it was 110. But my buddy just asked me about a Warlock and I didn't have one to sell him, but now I do. So, booyah. And uh, Daryl found a scope yep. for uh, one of his Airsoft McGillicuddies. Airsoft. Which I think it's, it's there. I can't really see it. So yeah, now we're gonna get lunch, I believe. Oh yeah, definitely lunch. We're gonna try this place called the Brick and Spoon, which is right next to Happy Sushi. So I'd be down for Happy Sushi too. So we ended up eating at a uh, Happy Sushi. This place actually looks pretty awesome. Everybody's dressed like Mortal Kombat characters in here. Sweet. <laughs> Alright, so Daryl and I just ate at Happy Sushi. Yeah. And uh, I gotta say, appropriate title, because, oops, appropriate title, because that place was happy. It was fun, delicious. Mm -hmm. And we ate some sushi. And they had a sushi train. Yeah. A train that came out with sushi. So, An yeah. Actual train. Yeah. <laughs> Full size. Full size baby train. And uh, now we're going to Guitar Center. Alright, we are at our uh, favorite strip mall guitar center. And I say that knowing that the Pensacola one is in a strip mall as well. Jesus. And we almost got hit again pulling in somewhere. Come on, Moby, don't get it together. Pearl snare you got me back in the day as a present. Come here. Oh, yeah. Nice. I still have it. Was it like a Slipknot edition or was it just a regular Pearl Black? I can't remember. I know you've had this Slipknot one. It was this one that said limited edition. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Like this one's really nice. I didn't even see this one. That one is like a navy the blue. PDP. Uh, DD drum. Check out the symbol room real quick. <laughs> Virtual guitar center. Those alu bells ring forever. Sabian alu bells. Alu bells. Cool shit right here. Look at the body on that thing. It's like freaking sweet. Yeah, that's a cool shape. They actually have like a, a squire precision. Using the shape I like the burst on these sound gears up above your head to the right. Oh, yeah. Alright, they did not have the. EC2 batter head I needed, but I didn't get the resonant head I needed, and it is a 10 mil, nice warm tone, so it shouldn't be super bright resonant, it should add some warmth, That's, I kind of want some warmth out of this uh, kit we're doing, so anyway, now we're going to pick up the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. If you got a house tooth tailgate, you're an asshole. That's awesome. Going to the boonies. Yep. Trees. Middle of nowhere, man. Bouncy as fuck on his road. Sitting in the back, right there, Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier, one of my bucket list amplifiers. Look at them power tubes. Look at all them power tubes. Shiny power tubes. <laughs> anyway, here we are, Cash America Pond, another one, one that looks way better. Yep, yep. Did we go to this one last time, Daryl? Yep. I think we went to this one at one point. Okay. I'm not 100% sure. I know it wasn't that great the one time we went, but you know, it's been over a year, so we should be able to have some fun here. Not really, I've been handing these little ladies now. Alrighty. Okay, so this is the dual wreck I just got from BG, my friend. Uh, this is a bucket list amp for me. I am super excited about it, and I can't wait to do some recording with it. However, Daryl and I, as you know, went to Cash America Pond, and uh, I found this. And I stupidly bought this crate, Vintage Club 30, 112, uh, sick ass little tube amp. These were like direct competitors with the uh, PV Classics and the Fenders of the time, and they're killer little amps. Of course, they're 
made in China, but it's still actually this one might be a USA made one. Probably USA put together with Chinese parts, but still got a super good deal on that. Um, pretty excited about this. More excited about this. Should not have bought that. Spent way too much money. Just don't forget I bought that too and that too. And there's some of the uh, volcano roll I have left over, so I bought that too. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, that's uh, that's what me and Daryl got going on, and this is the haul we're taking back to Pensacola with us, and Daryl got a scope. <laughs> so yeah. Yay, Daryl bought something. <laughs> yeah. So he's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna go home now because I absolutely cannot spend any more money. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been a brutal day for your wallet. Things like just sizzling. <laughs> Fantastic day for gear though, and yeah. luckily while saving up for the. Uh, mess a dual wreck back there because uh the guy held it for me for over a month he was real cool yeah, and let easy. me good job bud let me build up the cash so yeah definitely appreciate that and um i ended up with a surplus of cash so obviously got a couple more things it's been a pretty productive search of gear man yeah and it's only two o'clock and i think we left at what about 9 30. something like so that yeah. about four hours worth of uh, exploring and uh you know we didn't kill anything so that's good Hello to the chicks It don't scare me Alright, we're downtown Mobile going through the tunnel now Which, the other tunnel The, the Wallace The Wallace tunnel uh, We went through the bankhead earlier And now we're in the Wallace And I just manually changed that exposure It was so smooth, y'all didn't even know Yeah, that loud noise It's definitely not a truck One time I had too much money when we went to Mobile. And I had too little money when we left Mobile. <laughs> Alright, so now uh, we're coming up on Battleship Park. I could be wrong, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, check out this building, it's like made of containers. At least the front. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Could be a museum, I don't know. But, like, I think it has like an actual technical name. But somebody will tell me. Somebody in the comments, if you know the name of that building, let us know. And then here comes the battleship park up here um, on the right. So we're getting on the causeway. Yep, we are on the causeway. We are on the causeway. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, that's an F4 Phantom. That's pretty sweet. One of my favorite planes growing up as a kid. And then you got your anti-air artillery and uh, different guns. Well, actually, I think those are just guns that are actually on a ship. There's the ship. There's the Phantom right there. B2 bomber out yeah, there. Yeah, check the thing out, guys. Now, could you imagine, like, if we drove too close to that thing and it just ripped the side of your car off? Yeah, it ripped you out of the car, too. <laughs> yeah, right? And, oh, hey, no. It sucks. No, not me. Not me. <laughs> not little old man. Any Daryl but me. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in Pensacola. I'm not gonna be spending any more money this weekend, hopefully. And uh, we are heading back to the house. So I will probably film a little bit of a demo of maybe the dual rectifier to close this out, but thanks for watching, everybody. Yep, see you guys later.